Hey guys, Jacob Howard here, and today we are going to be looking at radio receivers and what their role are in keeping you up and flying. The radio receiver, or RX, is what receives the signal from the transmitter slash controller, or TX, and tells the flight controller what to do. They are generally small and can come in a few different shapes and sizes with several different features. Types. There are generally two types of RX. A cased RX has a plastic shell or cover. These tend to be bigger and often have multiple connections for servos and electronic speed controllers. They are mostly used on fixed wing aircraft. A Bayer RX has no case. These are generally smaller and are often covered in heat shrink or plastic film. They are lightweight and easy to mount in tight spaces on your drone. They normally have fewer connections and are geared more towards drone use. Both of these can have various other features such as telemetry and diversity. A telemetry RX has the ability to send data back to the TX. That data can contain many things like drone battery information, signal strength readings, and even GPS coordinates of the drone. A diversity RX has two antennas slash receivers built into one unit. This is a feature for redundancy in that if one receiver loses signal, the other can take over. On top of this, some RXs have connectors for different antenna options to help increase range. Both the TX and RX need to be operating on the same frequencies and protocols. A protocol is like the digital language that the TX and RX speaks. Depending on the brand of TX you get, you're going to want to get a matching receiver. This is because most TX and RXs are not compatible with other brands or protocols. So if you have a free sky transmitter, you're going to want to get a free sky receiver or if you have a spectrum brand tx you will want a spectrum brand rx and so on range most modern rx's operate on 2.4 gigahertz frequencies this normally gets you plenty of range when flying in parks and open areas though range can vary greatly depending on flying location and equipment normally you will be able to get up to 1000 feet or more of range out of a 2.4 gigahertz system there are tx's and rx's that operate on lower frequencies that will get you miles worth of range regardless of what system you are using it is important to remember that while flying it's advised to always stay in direct line of sight with your drone. Flying behind thick trees, buildings, or hills can cause your drone to lose signal and fail safe. On some RXs, there are ways to boost your range with different antennas, but if you're going to do that, it means you're probably wanting to do more long range flying. In that case, it is better to work on other safety features first, like installing GPS, beepers, and long range modules. If you enjoyed this video on FPV, we actually have an entire online course developed around these same types of lessons. We're talking dozens of lessons and hours of material designed to get you started into FPV or make you a better pilot. It is the world's first online FPV course and we have students from around the world learning through it. The link to learn more is in the comments below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and have fun flying.